Hey everyone, this is Tracy. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. Today I wanted to come to you with a video showing how I'm going to do a dry wash and go or gel and go. This has been a video that I had promised a while back on how to do that, so I'm bringing it to you today. The gel I'm going to be using is my Equal Styler Black Castor Oil and Flaxseed Gel, Flaxseed Oil Gel, okay, by Equal Style, all right? So what I'm going to do is going to not wet my hair, even though I took a shower and like the back part of my hair got wet. So it's kind of like it done shrunken up from how it used to look before um, doing the, the shower. So only thing I'm going to do, guys, is just take this gel and I'm going to put it onto my ends first. And I'm just going to rake it on through to the rest of my hair and just gonna see exactly what's gonna happen. Now, when I did this video, it was in the winter time, I'll put a link to that video to show y'all so you guys can take a look at how that video, to take a look at that video, in other words. But when I did that video, um, I used my aloe vera, um, my aloe vera gel, which I will take a picture of it and link it and put it in this video so y'all can see what it looked like just in case if you're interested in getting it. And it gave perfect results. I mean, it was beautiful. It was really, really beautiful. So I said, you know, I was going to create a video doing that because I wanted to do my whole head. Okay, so this is that video. So I'm going to, if this turns out right, guys, I'm going to wear this for a few days before um, it's time to shampoo my hair, which is getting close to that time anyway. So I'm going to wear this. So what's happening, I am doing something because I'm going somewhere. And as you can see, no, I'm not trying to wear these braids in my hair, what I had been um, protective styling my hair with. I don't want to wear them. And I don't have a scarf or anything I can put on my hair that matches the color of clothes that I have on today. So why not just take down my hair and gel it on up into a gel and go, right? So this is it. So this is how it's looking so far. I have to say that this is looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. I hope that y'all can see this. So this is what I'm doing. And I just wanted to show you what I'm doing. I'm just taking it and raking it on into my hair. And yeah, it, it is curling up. It's curling up. I'm kind of shocked, but it's curling on up. I shouldn't be too shocked looking at the fact that, uh, but I'll tell you the reason why I'm really shocked because I have other products in my hair and I didn't know, you know, if, if this would act right or not. So I'm kind of, you know, I'm glad of that, that it is. So, you know, that would be the reason why I said I'm kind of, I'm shocked. So I um, really am liking this. <laughs> really am. I think you all can see. Maybe I need to come up some. So y'all can get it. And I'm just putting it on the ends first. I like to do my ends, move it on through, and then go up the hair shaft as I'm doing it. And then I just finger comb like like rake comb with my fingers and that's really it that's all what I'm doing and the reason why I'm doing it like this is because I it's already sectioned off where it's braided okay so why not just see so I could just go with each braid just take down each braid and go ahead and finger comb it and put the gel on there and move on to the next braid after I'm done. So that just kind of like makes it easier. So I already had this braid down. So that's the reason why I started with this. I'm hoping you all can see. It's going to sit like this for a while. So maybe it'll focus in if it has to. Where you can see exactly what this is looking like. Yeah, it's got like a little white cast to it. So I'm not sure if that's the gel. Or is that coming from the other products that's in my hair. I'm hoping don't nothing cake up, you know what I mean? Like that you have these little white flakes and crap all in your hair. I'm just hoping that don't happen. So I wanted to do a dry 
um, gel and go. That's what I think I'll call this gel and go. That makes more sense because this actually makes the wash and go seems more like a wash and go. I mean, a, a, like how easy it is said, it's, it's done the same way. Like the dry hair for me, I'm seeing is better than the wet hair because I have all that shrinkage going down. And, you know, if I really wanted to really rock a little fro, that's the thing to get and to do would be the wash and go. But it looked like this gel and go gives me a little bit more of elongation. Just a little bit more. <laughs> it's still kind of drawing up, I see. I don't think I'm going to get away from that. You know, and I'm glad I'm not one that's stuck on the shrinkage because that's just like, you know, how a dog is trying to chase his own tail and thinking that he's going to catch it, you know. So, <laughs> dogs crack me up doing that. But anyway... <laughs> You know, to you know, that's pretty much how that looks to me to be thinking that I'm getting ready to do something that's going to stop my hair from shrinking up because I really don't think so. And looking at the type of hair that I have, no, I have four. If we want to go into the hair typing, I have the four A, four B, four C, and I say some Z's and maybe a few F's. So I don't know. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, so I took this braid down, now I'm going into here, and I am doing this, and I'm making sure I get every strand that has some, to have some gel on it, because I also don't want no frizz, because if you get it, if you don't do a strand, then of course we're going to have that frizz sitting there. So I don't want the frizz, so I just wanted to do this like that. And look how curly that is. You like my little ladies? Well, let's check out that girl. Yeah, I can check this out. Now, I'm just going to speed up the video because it's no longer, I mean, you're seeing exactly what I'm doing. Um, just putting the gel in, smoothing it into my hair, and then raking it on down. That's it. Oh, before I do that, if you see where you need to comb through it, then comb through it, and that's that. And make sure, guys, that you get a keep a napkin with you or paper towel, towel, something where you can wipe your hands. So when you get the old shedded hair in your hands, you're taking it off and not be not putting it back into your hair.
Okay, so this is pretty much how this is starting to look. Okay. This is how it's pretty much looking. And I'm really happy about it. As you can see, it definitely drew up, but it looked nice, and that's what's important. So this is my last little section. I'm about to just comb through it and apply the gel. Make sure you go apply the gel from root to tip and break it on out. And with my hair being like this, I could pretty much tell how my curls are all set up. So now I'm just going to take out these clips, if I can, with my slippery hand. And I'll just wipe them off. Okay. Ooh, grab this clip. Go ahead and grab this one. You know, just rinse all those clips off because we got that gel on them. Okay. And I just shake my head. Sorry for the noise. <laughs> my earring. <laughs> okay, but this is how it's looking. Okay. Now, how it's feeling, it's like a little stiff. So, of course, you can see that all the hair that I've done already have uh, shrunk up. So, yeah. All right. And for some reason, I don't know why my scalp is so itchy. It might be from those other products I had put in my hair. So, I don't know. So, just kind of like if you're going to do this, do it on the clean Make sure you do it on a clean head, you know, the way your scalp is clean and everything. See, with this, I'm just trying to see how this going to work, okay? But I'm seeing how it works, and I'm really liking it. So, I'm just going to let it be just like this. I'm not going to do anything else to it. I might spray a little water on it. But this is pretty good. I really didn't want to spray no water. I want it to be dry, you know? It is what it is. So if I do spray any water, it's just going to be a little. But I really don't think it need no water. I don't think it needs it. And then you can go back in there gel, the ones that you see that maybe need a little bit more gel on it or something, you can go back in there and put it on there. But this is really it, guys. This is it. This is how this turned out. Like I said, I need, I wouldn't mind getting me a nice cut. So if you have any questions, um, post the question in the comment section of this video, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I thank y'all so much for watching. Now, this looks like it's a patch of gel just sitting there, but actually it's not. I don't know why that looks so white, but it does. Okay, I see a lot of them little spots everywhere, but yeah. What I'll do is take some pictures, you know, just in case if this video is blurry where you can't really see like you want. I'll take some pictures and put them at the end of the video. But yeah, I, did, I do want to thank y'all so very much for watching and I wish you all a blessed, wonderful day. 